welcome to this video on machine learning, where uh, we would be taking a look at the loss functions utilized for a classification task. And the most common one for that one is a uh, common loss function that we utilize is cross entropy. So in this particular case of a neural network, we are uh, talking about the same use case that we had for the uh, softmax video where we were predicting the class of the news group based on a certain text that was given to the neural network. You're basically categorizing it into business, sports, entertainment, and politics. There were four classes that we had and uh, our softmax activation essentially computed these probabilities as uh, 0.65 for business, 0.24 for sports, and uh, lower values for uh, entertainment and politics. So, Essentially, what we are uh, doing with these probabilities is we would be required to compute the error or the loss, which is what is helping us eventually to enable the back propagation and uh, improve the learning on the next round of our neural network. So how is it that we compute this um, error or loss? One way is to say error is equal to your actual minus predicted, something that is frequently utilized uh, in, in regression tasks. So in this case, if we would like to understand what is the actual class or what is the uh, class probability, since business is what we are ending up predicting as the highest one, this would have an expected probability of one, let's say this is zero, zero, and zero. If this is where we, we our actual values are heading, then effectively our error can be computed as the difference between your actual class and your, or rather the probability, the actual probability of uh, this class would be one. For the others, it would be zero. So here we're talking about the error being 0.35, minus 0.24 and likewise a couple of negative values here as well. So this, if, if we try to square this, typically we're looking at the squared error term and we end up calculating the residual sum of squares that would give us one form of uh, the error. However, what cross entropy does is it, it's calculated as uh, the log of our predicted probability, let's call it PI. If we look at the uh, original formula, we would probably have this uh, negative summation of your class, let's call it C, multiplied by the probability of the particular class. So if we really took a, take a look at uh, expanding this term, we are talking about three of the classes which have terms that include the class as zero, the class value would be zero. So those terms cancel out and we only have the business class with the probability of 0.65. So minus log of 0.65, this comes to around uh, 0.43. So effectively this becomes our, uh, our loss for a particular observation we would be getting the total sum of the cross entropy for all our data that's being uh, fed into the neural network. And uh, that total cross entropy can be termed as our loss functional. So why we would prefer the uh, cross entropy rather than going for your uh, residual sum of squares is your uh, penalty is significantly higher when you are utilizing the cross entropy, which is forcing your uh, model to learn faster. In a sense, we are talking about that value being, even if we squared these, we squared all these errors and uh, summed them up, would be a lot less than what we are getting for the cross entropy value. So effectively, this is something that we utilize, your L value that you obtain is then utilized in the optimization algorithm. And uh, from there on, we are talking about 
updating our weights through back propagation, updating all the weights and biases. And uh, in our next round of uh, next iteration that is run through the neural network, our losses are something we can expect to be significantly less.